Should we take a look at these Garmin watches? Got the S62, the S42, and the S12. So in the S12, you get front, back, and middle measurement. Really simple, really easy. It's kind of built around a premise of keeping it really, really simple. You get course maps, and it gives distances, obviously, to the green and to different hazards as well. And things like dog legs. You can measure where the dog legs start, so those kind of ideas. It'll tell you how far you've got to go, so how far you've got into an approach or how long the hole is. By just looking at it, it'll GPS you, and then obviously knows where the hole is or certainly where the green is, and it'll give you those distances. The watch comes with 41,000 preloaded courses, and there's no subscriptions. It can keep score and has a 30-hour battery life, so it's gonna last 36 holes comfortably. I've got the graphite blue finish in my hands, comes in three different colors. This style is graphite blue, white, and black. It's easy scrolling, it's simple, it's all built around simplicity, and it enters the market at a fantastic price point. Now, the S42 has a touchscreen, a color display and it's great for kind of everyday wear and stylish i mean you wouldn't know this is a gps watch it just looks like a stylish smart watch it measures shot distances it's got 41,000 courses preloaded on and there's no subscriptions it keeps your score it'll track your steps also comes with a green view on it where you can actually place the pin for a little bit more accuracy on your distances on your approach shots just a little bit more slender than the first one feels really light comfortable in your hands and like i say it just looks looks really quite stylish as a watch, to be fair. And then what are we getting in the S62? So we're getting a 17% larger screen than the prior model, and it is an impressive screen. And it's easy read, and it works in glaring light, like you're still gonna be able to see the screen and use the device. 20 hour battery life, available in the black and white. This is what the black one looks like. Again, it's a stylish watch. It's a little bit thicker than the middle one. So the middle one is definitely the most slender, depending on what you want want it to do on your wrist. It's got green view and hazard view, so you can check out what the green looks like and obviously what the hazards are look, uh, looking like, you know, where you should be avoiding them. Um, it comes with 41,000 courses preloaded, again, no subscriptions. Virtual caddy on this will suggest the club, so it'll learn your patterns as well and start suggesting clubs for you from the distances it's marking that you've got left in. Now this one keeps score and tracks stats. So if you wanna see how you're performing in all parts of your game, this one's gonna do that. It's got wind speed and direction on it. It's got a swing tempo trainer. It collects steps. You can put your calendar on it. You get your notifications from your phone on it. You can check the weather on it. You can use it for fitness. This is really the all singing, all dancing. And the distances adjust for slope as well. So you're actually getting a slope meter in here also, which is super clever. So it'll tell you how far you've got to go, physical yards, but it'll then work in the down or uphill slope in there to help you hit the ball closer. I think there's a GPS watch for everyone in here. This is definitely for the most simple. This is a great medium one. And I do like the slenderness of this. This is definitely bigger in the S62 but it does do a lot of great features. Cool, it would be hard not to have all those features, wouldn't it? I think I'm gonna go with the S42. I just like the slenderness of it.